What's up everybody, it's IX Brandon here and today I'm going to show you how to set up automatic atomic assemblers. Now this is my own personal method of setting up atomic assemblers but there is another method which I'll show later on in a separate video. So to start off we're going to need an atomic assembler, two export buses and an import bus. We'll also need a rednet controller, some rednet cable, some ME cable and a sledgehammer as well as your two atomic assembler items which is the strange matter and the item that you're replicating so if we start with the top export bus this is the item you're replicating you're going to set it to redstone mode activate once per pulse and move single items the import bus on the front is your item that you're duplicating once again redstone mode activate once per pulse and move stack of items and lastly the bottom export bus is the strange matter redstone mode always active and move single items you're now going to want to put a piece of red net cable here and depending on how, how your controller is set up which I'll show you later on in the video you're going to want the top export bus to have a different color as you can see the bottom is white and the top is orange so if we go over to our red net and we just click until it turns orange or whatever color you have it set to okay so now that you've got this set up to orange and the bottom one set to white now the reason you do that is the whole system works on exporting and importing your copper plates at the exact same time so in theory what actually happens is when the redstone ticks the copper plate is taken out and with the fake delay that is going to be on the orange it imports the copper plate back in to the atomic assembler at the exact same time that it takes it out. Now I know that's kind of hard to understand to some of you but it works just yeah it works and that's why I use it. So what we're just going to want to do now is just hook up our ME cable run a power source Now obviously as I've shown you this is just a demo model. These ones up here look much more neater. And now I'm going to show you the insides of the controller. So the first page is actually on the second page. So we have a wave square timer set to constant 255. Uh, and on the right hand side we have var 0 go to the next page we have VARS 0 once again one shot pulse VARS 1 go to the next page so VARS 1 pass through output left now if you look at this because of the way it's facing this is its output if we go to the final page we have VARS 1 constant 0 so this constant is actually your delay of zero ticks so as I was saying earlier about a fake delay this is the fake delay and then input output left set to orange so the orange as said before is the export bus on top which is bringing the copper plate back into the atomic assembler immediately after it has been taken out and that's all you need so now in theory as this is set up just gonna run our red net cable from our working machine and we're just gonna wait for it to activate right so as you could see there there was previously four copper plates the 
process is still counting up. We still have all the anti strange matter, sorry, here, and it hasn't put strange matter in the middle. I hope this video has made sense. If it hasn't, just go back over it and watch it again. It's quite a simple process. Um, my next video will be the second way of automating atomic assemblers. Once again, thanks for watching.